so before the video starts I do want to say if you guys do want to join the giveaway the giveaway is about to end it's for Xbox players there'll be a little card on screen right now for the giveaway we've got 100 platinum we also have a 100 platinum giveaway in the discord if you want to talk about builds or warframe stuff join our discord we're always there's always people in there active talking and I'm in the discord quite a lot talking so Make sure you do join there if you've got any like build suggestions or if you want to just like do some long survivals with someone then someone probably will join if you need help with anything join the discord and it's just a nice thing to have is a discord because you can just communicate with others and i'm mainly an xbox player i am trying to get my pc stuff back up because i've literally just started pc again and it's going to be taking me a long time to get me to get to where i am now so yeah make sure you do drop a like and subscribe though it'd be very much appreciated Trying to get to at least 400 or 350 subscribers by the end of the year. We're very close and uh, yeah. Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, KLV, and I'm back with a brand new video. Now today, we have actually got a Seren build. Now I know I've done quite a lot of Seren builds. And uh, this one is actually really fun. And I actually saw this on a different YouTube channel. But I actually just want to show my build because I'm using a different build. But using the same like helmet ability. And... This is actually really good, it does tons of damage and it can just spread the spores a lot more easier. And again, this is my opinion on the build, if you want to use a different build then that is completely up to you. So for config B we have is Defy. Now Defy basically is a Wukong ability that makes you go invulnerable and you just basically do a lot of damage. You get a damage multiplier of 14 times so that is a lot of damage. And obviously in steel path this is going to work very well because they do more damage now if you're not doing this in steel path and this build is not really going to work as well as you're not going to be doing as much damage because in obviously in steel path they're doing more damage and blah 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 so now basically how this works is you literally you get your spores out and then you'll use this to spread them spores and obviously you're going to do tons of damage as well if you saw by the background i was doing like 200,000 damage probably even more but that still is just insane on how much damage you can do. Again, not surprised if this gets nerfed because you know what these like you can't have anything too powerful. So for starters, we've got enemy radar. Enemy radar is just my personal preference. You can use something else if you want to, like energy siphon or whatever. It's just my personal preference. Next, we have got power drift. Now I use power drift for more ability strength, and just we've got that chance of resistant knockdown. So that's very nice to have, but it's mainly just for that ability strength. So for starters, we have. So for starters, we have a stretch and all the reach. Now the reason why I have these is this gives us 175% range without losing any strength. So it's a very nice little little two mods to have on. And also all the reach, having an all mod basically gives you energy to spend on abilities is converted to shields. This works very well with Molt because Molt has like, it doesn't take any time to actually cast this. Basically you just cast it instantly. So if you're at like zero shields, if you just cast this instantly, there you go, you're back up to shields. And you can keep spamming this as much as you as much as you like. So next we have got vitality. I use vitality just for the health. Kind of simple there. Streamline for the efficiency because our blind rage makes us go under 100 percent efficiency. Again, the reason why I don't use the max blind rage is because our efficiency just goes so low. And I don't want to lose that duration. So that's why I always use this blind rage and need really much strength in difference to be honest like here we just get a 16 times and this blind rage gives us a 14 times so i'll just i'll just use this for so our efficiency don't go so low next we've got prime flow for energy prime continuity for duration and i have regenerative mold now i have been switching between these while we're using this i've been using sometimes i use rolling guard sometimes I use regenerative mold completely up to you and the reason why I've got regenerative more on here is because it does work very well because you can just basically instantly heal because on Molt, when because we've got an Augur mod as well, we've got Augur shine when we use this, our shield is going to go up so then we can heal and while we heal, we're going to be in that vulnerable because of shield gating. So basically it works really well because you have like two seconds of vulnerability or whatever when our shields are completely drained. So you have a bit of a vulnerability, so when you pop molt, you're obviously going to be able to heal back up a lot more easier. So if you take health, use this, you heal up, and then you've got your shield back. So it's just a really good combination to have, especially with using molt. And then obviously, if we if you're not using regenerative molt, 
I recommend using heal and return because this basically just heals you anyway for status effects so you want to use this on a high status weapon so you see here I have 80% status on my weapon right here so for the Orphos Prime build we have condition overload just so we can get a lot of damage uh, very simple there if you don't have condition overload prime prime pressure for it or sacrificial pressure will be fine but I do recommend getting condition overload I believe the price has gone down on it but I'm not 100% sure on that I believe it has so next we've got Virulent Scourge, uh, the Sphere is just a 60-60 mod, so simple there. <laughs> we've got Weeping Wounds for status gems, this basically just makes us, so we're always going to be getting status all the time, so we can always be healing all the time, so that's just very nice. Prime Reach for range, I'd like to have range on my melees, just so I can just kill them a lot more easier, so I don't have to go right close to them. Next we've got Berserker for attack speed, really simple there, it's just, we just need attack speed. Blood Rush, uh, so we can get uh, crits. Uh, I believe sometimes we do actually get red crits sometimes, and it's quite good. So Vicious Frost, so we get cold and we get, of course we get status chance, and we get that viral. Viral slash is still really good. I do believe it has been nerfed. I'm I'm not doing as much damage as I used to, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I believe I'm I'm literally not doing as much damage as I used to. So I'm not 100% sure if it has been nerfed. It still does a lot of damage, but I feel like I'm not doing as much as I used to. Next we do use is the Kuva Nucor. Now the Kuva Nucor is just a really good weapon. Now I have radiation on it. Uh, you can have whatever you want on it, but the reason why I've got radiation on it is because now I've got radiation and corrosive, I'm going to be doing two element elements to it. So I've got the radiation, I've got corrosive. Condition overload gives us 120% melee damage for each element affecting an enemy so basically we have viral and slash on our office prime that's 240 percent there we've got radiation and corrosive that's another 240 so i believe that's like 480 in, in total if we do all of them right there so basically there's tons of damage right here because our cuban nuclear has 140 percent status uh, we just have hornet strike on here we have confusion for uh, so we can get more corrosive damage Barrel Diffusion for Mortar Shot, Sure Shot for Stars Chance, you don't need Sure Shot to be honest, but I just have it on there, just because I didn't know what other mod to have on. We next have a Reload, we have Slowly Speed for Reload Speed and Stars Chance, Auger Packed for 90% of damage, and again, we get 80% energy spent on abilities, is converted to shields, so very nice to have that. More Auger, auger mods you have on, the more shields you're going to get, basically. Pistol Peasants for Toxin, so we can then get Corrosive, and Lethal Torrent for Mortar Shot. So basically this has been my build. Now for the operator I recommend using is Zenoric. Now the reason why I recommend using Zenoric is for his energy pools and his energizing dash. So if you know when you pick up energy with with energy pools, then basically what that does is when you pick it up you'll start to get gain energy. Basically like energy siphon, but you get more. Then when you combine this with energizing dash, you will then be getting even more energy. So every time you see an energy orb, use your energizing dash to get as more as most energy as possible. So that's what I recommend doing. If you see that your energy is just going up, use your energizing dash as quick as you can. Because your energy does go down quite quick. I'm not gonna lie, your energy does go down quite quick. I'm not gonna lie about that. So using energizing dash and you want to make sure you have energy up because it's basically at the fire makes us go invulnerable, so we can't die as well. So that's a really good for survival. So I recommend just making sure you have enough energy. We have our Molt for survival, we have a Defy for survival, and a Spores and Miasma for the DPS. A Defy does a lot of DPS as well, so it's just like two things in one. It's really, really, actually really good because you do a lot of damage with Defy, and you go in vulnerable with Defy. So we have a 2.9 second invulnerability, what is going to be enough time to get our shields back, or if we're just in some sticky situation where we're not going to be doing as much damage. Or if there's a bunch of ancient healers, and you just need to kill them because the fire makes kills them through walls as well. So really good to have. Uh, I do recommend using this build because you do need to have range. Because obviously the more range the better. If you see you've got 21 meters. Then obviously the less range you're not going to be as doing as much uh, damage like in range wise anyway. So if you see here we have got now 70, we have got 17.4 meters. So obviously the more range you can have the better. The more uh, strength you have the more DPS you can do. So yeah, that's been it guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It would be very much appreciated. And yeah, see you guys later.